The next piece of SpaceX's growing Starship infrastructure at Kennedy Space Center arrived at Launch Complex 39A Friday, January the 6th. A carriage apparatus that will move up and down the nearly 500-foot-tall Starship launch tower at Pad 39A departed SpaceX's Roberts Road construction site at Kennedy overnight. The carriage structure rode a transporter for the seven-mile journey, passing by the Vehicle Assembly Building and the Kennedy Space Center press site on the way to the pad. SpaceX will later transfer the two chopstick arms to the launch pad for attachment to the carriage, which will move up and down the Starship launch pad tower on rails. In recent days, crews at the launch pad were seen assembling a support frame at Pad 39A to connect up the various parts of the mechanized arm system. The structure is similar, but not identical to, the chopstick system used at SpaceX's Starship launch site in South Texas called Starbase. The chopsticks will be used in attempts to catch the huge reusable first stage of the Starship mega rocket called the Super Heavy Booster as it comes back to Earth for landing after each launch. The robotic arms are also handy during stacking of the Starship vehicle on top of the Super Heavy Booster for testing and launch operations. The Starship will be the largest and most powerful rocket ever to fly, standing nearly 400 feet tall with 33 methane-fueled engines generating 17 million pounds of thrust at full throttle. The transfer of the carriage January the 6th was the first significant and visible sign of progress at the Starship launch site in Florida since SpaceX capped off assembly of the tower at Pad 39A back in September. Over the summer, SpaceX transported eight tower segments one by one from the Roberts Road staging site at Kennedy to Pad 39A, then lifted each section onto the tower with a giant crane. Since then, work at the site has been focused on outfitting systems within the perimeter of the sprawling seaside launch complex, rather than bringing in major new hardware elements. Aside from the new tower and the chopstick arm system, SpaceX is installing new ground storage tanks for propellants, a water deluge sound suppression system, and a circular launch mount that the Super Heavy booster will sit on before liftoff. Pedestals for the launch mount are in place at Pad 39A, but SpaceX has not yet moved the mount itself over to the launch pad from its off-site fabrication facility. While SpaceX readies for the first Starship orbital flight test from the Starbase complex in South Texas, work at Kennedy Space Center is focused on building an operational launch base for future Starship missions, including flights to the moon for NASA's Artemis lunar program. Eventually, SpaceX plans to construct a factory at Kennedy for super heavy boosters and Starship vehicles, which are currently built exclusively in Texas. The work to prepare for future Starship launches is occurring amid a busy cadence of missions by SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets at the Florida spaceport. The Starship launch site sits just 1,000 feet, or 300 meters, from the Falcon launch pad at Launch Complex 39A.